Well, that's just the thing. Jennifer, Vicki, Jefferson County Clerk Bobby Holsclaw didn't know what to expect, and that's because this year has just been so different from anything that she's seen in her two decades running Louisville's elections. It has been a very difficult time. Um, I'm very happy the way it has turned out as far as crowd control and people being able to vote. The Jefferson County Board of Elections signed the certification of vote tallies Tuesday morning. The record primary turnout for Jefferson County saw 206,719 votes cast in all. The prior record was 192,630 when Barack Obama won the Democratic presidential primary. I think at the end we had a Senate race that became very close and there was a big turnout for that. And I'll be quite honest with you, I can't tell you how many people thought that they were voting for the presidency. Bobby Holsclaw, the Republican county clerk, favors a return to precinct voting with less of a reliance on absentee ballots in this fall's general election. I think the majority of people probably want to go back. You know, but then I hear, you know, people come and say, oh, it was so much better than the other way. So you're never going to have 100 percent consensus on this. Carl Bensinger, the Democratic representative on the Board of Elections, disagrees. I just think it'd be difficult with the virus to get all the precinct workers to come and staff and to work in their precincts. That's that's the only I think we agree on that. Yes. That, that would be very difficult and to get people to turn out with the virus being as strong as it's supposed to be this winter. Now, Holsclaw said that they only had problem with about 300 ballots, and that's out of, or I'm sorry, 300 absentee ballots, and that's out of almost 180,000 absentee ballots cast. And those problems were typically, you know, problems with signatures uh, that had to be verified, although she said some people actually forgot to put their ballot in the envelope. Holsclaw didn't know exactly how many of those ballots were ultimately rejected. Live at the Jefferson County Election Center, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. Thanks.